Cindy. Welcome back to part two of my Peony Garden series. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a sympathy card using this beautiful stamp set. We're going to start with a Whisper White note card. And then the piece of cardstock we're going to adhere to that is a piece of gray granite cardstock. Now this piece of cardstock was cut at three and a half inches by five inches, which is the same as the front of the note card. Then I used one of the peony dies and I ran this through my Big Shot. And now I have this really beautiful border for the front of my card. So I'm going to flip this over, add some adhesive to the back, and then this is going to be the base of our card. Next, we're going to be using a two by five inch strip of the Peony Designer Series paper. And then with this, we're going to add the square vellum doilies, but I've cut them so that we're just going to be using two of the edges of the doilies. So I'm going to take this piece of DSP and then I want to add the, the doily up here and down here. So I'm going to add some of our stamp and seal. I'm going to put a strip of it here on the edge there and then I'm going to put a strip of it down here on the bottom of the card there. So then I'm going to take the doilies and I'm going to press them along that area where I've added the adhesive and I'll do that over here as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn it around and just make sure that that looks straight. Okay, that looks good. Okay, then I'm going to pick this up and then this is gonna get mounted onto the front of the card. So I'm gonna just use my multi-purpose liquid glue for that. And then I'm gonna press this onto the front of the card. Okay, so now we're ready to do our stamped image. So for that, I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and then we're going to be using a stamp from the P Prize Peony stamp set. We'll be using this stamp here, as well as these stamps here. And we're also gonna use this sentiment here that says, so sorry for your loss. So I'm gonna be using the gray granite ink, and then I'll be using this large flower stamp here. So I'm going to stamp this in the corner And then I'm going to stamp some leaves. And I'll stamp one small leaf here. Okay. And then I'm going to add some words with my Memento ink. So I've inked up the words, so sorry for your loss. And I'm going to stamp that in the bottom corner. And then I'm going to mount this onto a basic gray cardstock. Okay, then I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back. And then I'm going to put this right here on the front of the card. Now, if you have the bundle and you have the dies so that you can make this really gorgeous edge, then you're also gonna have this die here. So what you can do is you can stamp the flower a second time on a scrap piece of paper, and then you can die cut this in your die cutting machine. And then what you'll do is add a couple of dimensionals to the back. And so we're just taking the same image and we're just placing it right on top of the same image so that it will just add a nice three-dimensional look to this card. The last thing that we'll do to finish off this card is add those gorgeous, faceted, elegant, faceted gems. So for this one, I'm going to be using a clear one to put over the O and the word so, so for so sorry. Then I'm gonna use one of these large frosted ones and I'm gonna put that right next to it there. And then I'll do one more of the frosted ones. I'll do a small frosted one and I'm gonna put that up here on the top. So we'll have three on there. And so this is our project number two. So our second card is complete. I hope that you enjoy learning how to make this beautiful sympathy card and be sure to check back for project number three. It has a fun fold in it that I think you're gonna like. Until then, aloha.